morning. Well, it is morning here, by the way. Um, what am I going to talk about today? I'm going to talk about television. Um, I've been watching, you know, Netflix, the wonderful thing that is Netflix that allows you to catch up on everything and anything at any time. What do we do before Netflix? I really don't know. Um, so I've been watching Netflix and I've been catching up on Educating Yorkshire and Educating Essex, which are um, two reality shows where they put cameras in schools for a year and at the end of the year they kind of show what's going on. I always like that kind of thing. It's quite interesting. And actually, interestingly enough, from Educating Yorkshire there was one particular episode where there was a young lad with a really bad stammer and his teacher helped him come over the, overcome the stammer by playing music because he'd watched the King's speech and could see that that did something to the stammer effect. And I had a client where I was able to use the same technique with the clients and it worked really well. So I'd already watched one of the episodes of Educating Yorkshire. Um, anyway, so I was watching these and it's really interesting because there's a lot of focus on, um, I think they call it pastoral care, uh, the care the teachers and individual adults in the schools give to the kids beyond their education. Um, but also making sure that they can get the best out of the education. And obviously in a, any high school, secondary school, call it what you want, um, you have all sorts of stuff going on with the kids. And they need, there's a lot of stuff going on at home, but that often translates into behavioural issues in school. And what's nice is when you watch these programmes, the focus is on helping them overcome them rather than just excluding them and, and getting rid of them from school for being a problem. But what's really interesting for me, I guess it's because I'm a therapist, is those people, there's some really wonderful, very caring, very giving teachers, headmasters and teachers, um, in both of those programs. And they're all doing it because they have a thing, right? They have a thing in their childhood and they don't want anybody else to experience what they experienced. They want to give everybody the best shot. Um, and I find that really funny because so many of us do what we do because we don't want others to experience what we experienced when it was really difficult and it makes them really good for it but also it's like for me as a therapist it's like neon flashing light that says whoa i could help them i could help them because they're, they're constantly you can see the kind of pain um when they try and help people you can see they're time traveling constantly back to their own memories and their own moments that they found difficult to deal with and you also see that in the school system that the way we provide support for teenagers and um, young adults and that kind of stuff doesn't really necessarily work very well for what they need so there was one kid who had some real anger issues and there were good reasons behind why he was bringing it to school um, the teachers were working with him and the interviewer, because they sometimes interview them at one point, asked, um, have you thought of going to anger management classes? And he kind of went, yeah, they didn't work. Um, I've worked with a lot of kids now. And I find um, it's wonderful. I love working with kids because they don't look at me like I'm weird in the same way as adults do. Um, when I ask them to think of shapes and colours and stuff like that. And we can all do it, it's just as adults we, we try and be a bit more reserved and it's harder for us to go with the flow. Um, can get the same results, it's just it's a little bit of a shorter route with kids. So I, I love working with kids and I love that I have the ability to do something that doesn't necessarily work as well in kind of mainstream counselling. Um, I've worked with all sorts of different issues with kids and it's fun. So that's just kind of my thought of the day, watch a bit of TV and uh, my thoughts on when I was watching the TV. It's always kind of interesting. And it, it kind of happens, you become like a little detective, you know? You can't look at people and engage with people in the way that you normally would once you've trained up to do this stuff. Because you kind of see we all have our stuff. We're all screwed up. It's just, what is our screw up? We're all different. And when you spend time with people and you're past your own screw ups to some degree, because we're never totally past them, I don't think, um, you start seeing how much everybody else is struggling too. And it makes it a little easier not to be so hard on people for their behaviours because very often it's really not their fault. Okay, catch you later. Bye.